Welcome to your practice. Let's begin in child's pose. And I'd like you to come into child's pose a little bit further toward the back of your mat. Bringing the big toes together, descending the forehead toward the earth, the palms face down onto the mat. Beginning to deepen the breath. In this practice today, we'll be flowing through what in yoga we refer to as the Mahabhutas. These are the elements. The elements make up all of nature but we've become so disconnected that oftentimes we forget that these same elements exist within us. We'll be tapping back into that elemental nature within you that connects you to the various ebbs and flows, the tides and the rhythms, not just of this planet, but those same rhythms that exist inside of you. Not so long ago, a student recently reached out and asked, why do I keep falling asleep? And what she meant was, why do I keep falling back into certain habits or patterns? And this often taps into a major misperception that we have of our practice as if we say our practice is working when we reach some perfect state where we cease to be human. Falling asleep is a natural part of every rhythm in nature, the way animals hibernate, the way trees regenerate. And so if it's true for us throughout the course of the seasons, why wouldn't it be true for us internally in different seasons of our lives? And so can we honor those moments when we forget? Can we honor those moments when rather than forget, we just simply land in our natural humanness and trust that our practice will be there to catch us and that it's inside of that acknowledgement that we have the opportunity to learn, grow, practice inner compassion, self-compassion, step forward into whatever is ahead as we take joyful responsibility for all of life. And so we begin with this first element that is the source of prana, the source of energy, the source of all of our life, the air which we manifest through the breath. So take a deep breath in, fill your body, sides of the waist, low back, back of the heart, and exhale, let it go and rest in the surrender and the softening that is inherent in that release. And begin over time to draw the breath in through the nose and along the back of the throat and feel how the in-breath is cooling, the out-breath is warming, as we just begin to lay the groundwork and the foundation for this air, which will support us in these air-like movements as we enter into this journey together on the mat and through this cycle of creation. And so from this place, with your breath steady and sweet, On an inhale, roll to kneeling, sitting back on your heels. The legs stay in child's pose. Rise up, circle the arms to the sky. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw the hands to the heart as we just link one breath per movement. Inhale, circle the arms up, fill the body with breath. As you exhale, turn the palms forward, lift the torso up, snake the belly through, down and on to the mat. Tops of the feet flat, inhale to cobra as the heart lifts, the chest spreads. Exhale, lower slow, tuck the toes, press back to downward facing dog. And if you wanted to, you could even use the knees to do that. From 
downward facing dog, this place by now that you know so well. On an inhale, float your right leg up like you're floating through thick air. Exhale, step your right foot forward lightly between your hands and descend your left knee down behind your left hip. On an inhale, rise to a low lunge, circle your arms above and feel your hips ever so slightly drawing back. Exhale, place your hands down, frame your front foot at the top of your mat. Inhale, tuck the back left toes and lift the left knee from the mat. Exhale, step forward, fold in half, top of the mat. Riding the breath, inhale, hands to shins, glance out, lengthen, fill the lungs. Exhale, fold and bow in. To the sky on an inhale as you root through the feet and you rise to stand. As you exhale, drop the right arm down by the right side, reach the left arm up and overhead as you just enter into a side stretch. On an inhale, right arm circles back up to meet the left. Exhale, fold forward over your version of strong legs. Reach the heart out on an inhale as your shoulders slip back. Then exhale and fold and step the right toes to the back of the mat, dropping the right knee behind the hip. Inhale to your low lunge on your left side. Circle the arms above as we just start to lay these pieces in. Exhale, place the hands back down onto the mat. On an inhale, tuck the back right toes, lift the right knee. And as you exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Inhale forward, upper push-up plank position. Child's pose as you exhale, big toes together, knees apart as you come back to where we began and we just start to flow through this. Remember, this is this element of air. We have time to build. On an inhale, kneeling, circle the arms to the sky, sitting back onto the heels. Exhale, draw the hands to the heart, that space of Anjali, connect with prana and breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, turn the palms forward, snake the belly all the way down onto the mat. Inhale, takes you to cobra as the heart lifts. Exhale, draws you back, downward facing dog, letting each movement last a breath. Inhale, float the left leg up slow and strong, lifting the left leg this time. Then exhale, step the left foot through, drop the right knee down behind the hip. Inhale to your low lunge, reach up, maybe gaze up. Exhale, place the hands down, frame the front foot. Inhale, right knee lifts. Exhale, right foot steps up to meet the left. Chest out, inhale, find some space. Exhale, fold and bow back in. Inhale to the sky as you circle and rise to stand. Exhale, left arm drops down, right arm up and over your head. Both arms up, inhale, sweep and rise. Exhale, fold and dive over strong thighs. Inhale, find your version of a flat back. Exhale, fold and step the left toes back, drop the left knee to the mat. Low lunge, inhale, just finding that moment of pause at the top. Exhale, fingertips come back down to the earth. Inhale, back knee lifts. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, upper push up plank. Exhale, child's pose, knees down, hips back. That's one full cycle, we have two more like that on the breath. Inhale to kneeling, circle the arms up as you sit to the heels. Exhale, hands back to the heart, reconnect with your breath. Inhale, reach up, maybe gaze up. Exhale, turn the palms forward, snake the belly all the way down onto the mat. Inhale to your back bent. Exhale, down dog, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Inhale, right leg floats up. Exhale, right foot steps through, back knee to the mat. Inhale, low lunge, you rise. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Inhale, left knee lifts. Exhale, step up, top of the mat. Inhale, pull the heart forward. Exhale, fold a little lower. Inhale, ride the breath all the way to the sky. 
Exhale, right hand down, left arm up and overhead to the side. Inhale, both arms sweep up. Exhale, fold forward over strong legs. Inhale, lift your heart halfway. Exhale, fold, step your right toes back, drop your right knee to the mat. Inhale, reach and rise the arms above. Exhale, fingertips come down to the earth. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, down dog, feel that stretch of the chest back. Inhale, floats you upper push up, you ride the breath. Exhale, knees down, hips back, child's pose as you fold in on yourself again. No hurry, no rush. Inhale to kneeling, sit back to the heels as you sweep and rise. Exhale, hands to the heart, Anjali, attention inside. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, turn the palms forward, snake the belly all the way down onto the earth. Inhale, lift the heart, feel the breath. Exhale, down dog as you empty and press your way back. Inhale, left leg rising up and off the mat. Exhale, left foot through, back knee to the mat. Inhale, low lunge, circle the arms above. Exhale, plant the fingertips down. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold back in deep. Inhale to the sky, circle and sweep. Exhale, left arm down, right arm overhead. Inhale, both arms up. Maybe you could even close the eyes. Exhale, dive down, fold back inside. Inhale, fill the lungs and reach the head out. Exhale, fold and step the left toes back as the knee drops to the mat. Inhale to your low lunge, heart lifts, arms lift. Exhale, fingertips down, get empty of breath. Inhale, back knee lifts. Exhale, down dog, press the chest back. Inhale, floats you to plank position. Exhale, takes you back to child's pose. We have one last round. Maybe the eyes could stay closed. Inhale to kneeling as you sit your way back. Exhale, hands to the heart. You're attending to the rhythms within. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, palms forward, snake the belly through, down to the ground. Inhale as your shoulders roll low. Exhale as you find downward facing dog, nowhere to go. Inhale, right leg lifts through the air. Exhale, right foot through lightly here, back knee down, low lunge. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, fingertips down as you trust yourself. Inhale, back left knee lifts. Exhale, step forward and melt in. Inhale, lift your heart halfway. Exhale, get out of your head. Inhale, circle the arms above as you rise to stand. Exhale, right arm down, left arm overhead. Inhale, both arms reach up and sweep. Exhale, fold, press the breath out. Inhale, lengthen the spine, the back. Exhale, fold, step the right toes back, knee to the mat. Inhale, your low lunge carries you above. Exhale, your out breath carries your fingertips to the ground. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last time, inhale, upper push up plank. Exhale, child's pose with strength. Inhale to kneeling as you sit back and sweep the arms high. Exhale to the heart, the sovereignty of the heart over the mind. Inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, palms forward, snake your belly through, ground it down to the mat. Inhale, fill the lungs with breath. Exhale, downward facing from the pit of the navel, up and back. Inhale, floats your left leg strong and slow. Exhale, left foot steps through, right knee grounds. Inhale, low lunge, reach and rise. Exhale, fingertips frame your front foot. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, step forward, top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale to the ceiling as you root to rise. Exhale, left arm down, right arm overhead, last time. Inhale, both arms sweep high. Exhale, fold, let it all go. Inhale, find it flat back. Exhale, bow in and step the left toes back as the knee drops to the mat. Inhale, reach and circle up. Exhale, fingertips down to the mat.
Inhale, left knee lifts up. Exhale, down dog, press back. Hold this downward facing dog and take several breaths. For a moment, we'll stay with this element of air, but as you maybe have already noticed, air, as we draw the prana in, as we work with the sound of ujjayi, starts to build into that element of fire. So let's start to make that transition here. Inhale, upper push-up plank position. As you exhale, lower your right knee down onto the mat. And then lift your right knee up, lift your right foot up and kickstand your knee behind you, your shin behind you. So you're gonna make a little bit of a kickstand there. Then spin the sole of your left foot flat, ground through the blade of your left foot. And with your right hand under your right shoulder, circle your left arm to the sky, finding a modified version of side plank. So we're just using the shin as a kickstand to give us a little bit more stability as we build some heat. Press out of your strong right shoulder, grow the arms a little bit wider, take a deep breath in. Then exhale your left arm up and over your head and grow long from blade of left foot to left hand. Take one more deep inhale here. As you exhale, lift your left leg and tap your left knee to your left elbow. Pull them to touch and connect. Inhale, left arm overhead, left toes back down onto the mat. Three more like that. Exhale, lift the leg, tap the elbow to the knee, a little side contraction. Inhale, left arm overhead, left toes to the mat. Last two. Exhale, elbow to knee, tap and touch. Inhale, reach it all back. Exhale, last time, elbow to knee, tap and connect. Inhale, left toes back, left arm overhead, hold there, sealing the sole of the left foot flat. Reach the left arm up to the sky, inhale. Place the left hand down onto the mat as you exhale. Turn your right foot back behind you, spin to your back left toes and step to upper push-up plank pose. Hold the top of a push-up, gaze slightly ahead of the tips of your fingers and then keeping the pelvis where it is, just tap your right knee to the mat and then re-straighten your right leg back to plank. Tap your left knee to the mat and straighten your leg back to plank and then side to side on your own. Not hurried, not rushed, but building a little bit of heat. And as you practice at home, sense the stability of your pelvis. It's not dropping, your hips are in alignment with your chest. Last three. Last two, last one, hold plank, take an inhale here. Then exhale and lower the left knee down onto the mat. Lift your shin up, pivot your left foot behind you, make the kickstand. Seal the sole of your right foot flat and circle your right arm to the sky as you come into the second side. Feeling from the inside as the shoulder blades widen and the arms draw apart, that outward expansion of energy from left hand to right. One big deep breath in. Exhale, right arm sweeps up and overhead for a moment there to extend in space. On an inhale, lift your right leg up and off the mat. Exhale, elbow to knee, tap and touch, hug it in. Then inhale, sweep it all back out. Right toes to the mat, right arm up and overhead. So we're lowering the toes to activate that right glute. It makes it a little bit harder. Three more like that. Exhale, elbow to knee as we build a little bit of heat. Inhale, right toes down, right arm overhead. Exhale, elbow to knee as you activate the back body. Inhale, sweep it all the way out. Last time, exhale, elbow to knee, building some more. Inhale, right leg back, right arm overhead, hold it there. Then inhale your right arm to the sky. Exhale your right hand to the mat. Turn your left toes behind you, pivot to your right toes and step back upper push-up plank position again. Stabilizing your shoulders over your wrists, take a deep breath in and then one knee at a time. Tap one knee to the mat, then the opposite knee as you straighten and feel the stability inside of yourself. The pelvis the same height as the upper back, not dropping one hip or the other, still pressing evenly through the thumb and the first finger and starting to build just a little bit of fire. Last three, last two, last one, hold plank, take a goodbye inhale here, then exhale, chaturanga, elbows hug in. Cobra up dog, inhale as you lift the heart and you clear the slate. Exhale, downward facing dog as you press back. 
Take an inhale, lift the hips up and back. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float, feet to meet your hands. Take an inhale, glance out, lead with your heart. Exhale, fold and drop in. Here we go. Bend the knees, drop the hips, sit back. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Keep the knees bent. As you exhale, reach your arms back behind you. Palms point up toward the ceiling. And then staying with it, just start to pulse the knees a little bit. Up and down, stay with your breath. It might be helpful here to close the eyes as we just bend the knees, tiny little bounces. Starting to activate Samana Vayu, the inner thighs hugging in. Starting to build a little bit of heat. And if it helps you with the eyes closed, you could even pulse on the out breath. It doesn't need to be Kapalabhati, but maybe as you sit a little bit lower, each time on that out breath, you start to feel the burning in the thighs and a little bit of heat. Take one more deep moment here to sit, then inhale, chair pose, knees still bent, reach the arms up. Exhale, dive and fold, feel the space you made. Inhale, lift your heart up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, either step to plank and lower or float to chaturanga today. Inhale, cobra or up dog if it's right. Exhale, downward facing dog, here we go. Inhale, lift the right leg up and off the mat. Exhale, step your right foot outside of your right hand and then kick your left foot straight through. Draw your right elbow into your chest. Place your right hand back down onto the mat. Step your left toes back and inhale your right leg to the sky. Three leg downward facing dog. Exhale, float your right foot through between your hands. On your back toes, inhale, rise to crescent pose. So you did your low lunge, now you're in your high lunge. You feel yourself contained, working from a place of strength. So not sitting down into the joints, but lifting up. Take a deep inhale here. As you exhale, tap your left foot to your right and bring your fists to your hips. Then inhale back to crescent pose. Four more like that. Exhale, left toes to right, fist to hips. Inhale as you step back. Exhale, left toes to right. Inhale, step your way back. Exhale, fist to hips. Inhale, step your way back. Last time, exhale, step it up. Inhale, crescent pose, take a deep breath in. Exhale, plant your hands down. And on an inhale, three leg downward facing dog. Pull your right leg all the way up and back. Stack your right hip on top of your left. Bend your right knee, point your right knee toward the ceiling. You could stay here if it was best. Or exhale, drop your right toes behind you. Sweep your right arm up and overhead. Take an inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, right hand comes back down to the mat. Pull your right knee to your chest, your shoulders above your wrists. Plank pose on an inhale, chaturanga on an exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg lifts, inhale up and back. Exhale, left foot outside of your left hand. Kick your right leg straight through, pull your left elbow to your chest. This might be your tricky side. Place your left hand down, step your right toes back. Inhale, three leg down dog, left leg lifts. Exhale, left foot forward on back toe. Rise up, inhale, crescent pose. Take that moment, first round here, you establish yourself as you start to feel that element of air still feeding you, but as you start to build that deep sense of inner heat. Inhale here, exhale, right toes meet left, fist to hips. Inhale, step back to crescent pose. Exhale, four more like that. Stay with it, one breath, one movement. See how deep the left knee can stay bent. You're not coming out of that left thigh. You're still lunging deep. We're working these muscles as we ground from the inside. Last time on an inhale, crescent pose, take a breath. Exhale, hands come down onto the mat. Inhale, left leg all the way up to the sky. Exhale, stack and open the hip. Left knee points to the ceiling. Remember, you could stay here or drop the toes down. Flip it out, left arm overhead. Deep breath in as you fill the heart with breath. Exhale, left hand down, left knee to the nose. Roll your shoulders forward to plank pose. Inhale, step your left toes back. Exhale, lower slow, elbows hug in. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Take a moment here and I want to remind you always that child's pose is available. But this is part of that cycle of creation. We're going to go through moments that feel like eruptions 
Maybe the sweat is starting to erupt on the body. We're gonna have these moments of intensity on our mats and in our lives, and it's all part of it. And as we tap into these elements, we can remember that if it's part of nature, it's part of us and we can trust it. On an inhale, press the hips up and back. Exhale, bend the knees, we flow. Step or float, feet to hands. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, inhale, sit your way back. Exhale, arms behind you, close your eyes and pulse up and down. Little pulses, we're building heat. Now, if you're just watching this at home, it doesn't look like a big deal, but the smiles on their faces are gonna tell you that there is some intensity here. It looks simple, but these are major muscle groups that are working and we're building an authentic heat here. We're not heating the room up. We're not falsifying this sweat. This is coming from the inside. Give it one last little moment there. Inhale, chair pose, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, pull your heart out. Exhale, plant your hands, step back or float back and lower to the mat. Inhale, up dog or cobra, you rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up and off the mat. Exhale, right foot outside, right hand. Inhale, kick your left leg through and pull your right elbow to your chest. Exhale, right hand down, left toes back. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot through between your hands. Inhale, circle your arms up, press and pose. Exhale, fist to hips, left toes meet right. Inhale, step back to crescent, just two more. Exhale, fist to hip, left toes to right. Inhale, step back to crescent. Last time, hug it all in. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, hands down to the earth. Inhale, three leg down dog. Exhale, stack and open the hip. Drop the toes out. Inhale, right arm up and overhead, chest lifts. Exhale, right hand down, right knee to the nose, thigh to the chest. Inhale, upper push up plank. Exhale, chaturanga with strength. Inhale, you find your breath. Exhale, down dog, you got this. Inhale, left leg up and off the mat. Exhale, left foot outside, left hand. Step the right foot through, pull the left elbow to the chest. Plant the left hand down and step the right toes back. Inhale, three leg down dog, pull it back. Exhale, left foot between the hands. On back toes, inhale, crescent pose, you rise. Exhale, fist to hips, toes tap. Inhale, right toes step back. Exhale, two more like that. Inhale, right toes ground. Last time, exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, crescent pose, you land. Exhale, hands down, three leg down dog. Inhale, leg to the sky, stack and open the hip. Flip it out, the toes land. Lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, place the left hand down and pull the thigh in. Inhale, upper push up plank. Exhale, lower down slow. You could use the knees. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's keep going, we build some heat. Inhale, press back. Exhale, knees bend, step or float. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, fold, melt into the air. Bend the knees, drop the hips, sit back, inhale, chair. Exhale, arms behind, little pulses. And I wanna tell you that closing your eyes and going inside of yourself is gonna help support you through the intensity. You don't need to look outside. You don't need to see what anybody else is doing. Trust the rhythms that are occurring within you. As Mirabai Star reminds us, we wanna trust the sovereignty of the heart over the sovereignty of the head, which is so much of what this culture is trying to tell us. So trust yourself from the inside. Doesn't need to be big to be effective. You still have that breath supporting you. On an inhale, chair pose, reach the arms up. Exhale, dive hands to the mat. Inhale, pull the chest out. Exhale through the vinyasa, step or float, but you could skip it. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, right foot outside, right hand. Inhale, kick the left foot through, pull the right elbow in. Exhale, right hand down, left toes back. Inhale, three leg down dog. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Inhale, on back toes, you rise. Exhale, fist to hips, toes connect. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, two more like that. Inhale as you step it back. Last time, exhale, toes connect. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale as you lift the right leg all the way up and back. Stack and open the hip. Drop the right toes down and inhale the right arm overhead. Exhale, right 
right hand down, pull the thigh to the chest. Step back to upper push-up plank and lower to the mat. Inhale, fill your lungs. Exhale, down dog as you empty out. Inhale, left leg up and off the earth. Exhale, left foot outside, left hand. Kick the right foot through, pull the left elbow in. Plant the left hand down and step the right toes back. Inhale, left leg all the way to the sky. Exhale, left foot, top of the mat. Inhale, on back toes, you rise. Exhale, right toes meet left fist to hips. Inhale, crescent pose, the legs work. Exhale, toes tap. Inhale, step it back, you got this. Exhale, step it up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Three leg down dog, inhale, left leg lift, stack and open the hip. Exhale, drop the toes down. Inhale, lift the heart high. Exhale, plant the left palm down. Exhale, nose draws, knee draws in. Step back, upper push up plank. Lower slow and steady. Inhale as your shoulders drop low. Exhale, downward facing dog. Guess what? You got one to go. Inhale, press back. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float. This is the element of fire. Glance out, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold a little low, bend the knees, sit back, inhale, chair pose, arms back behind, little pulses, little pulses, what do you need to say to yourself, what supports you in this moment, what is the need that is arising, something is here, it's asking for your attention, we are calling you to attend to it, this is part of it, we go through these rhythms, we can do this together, you're not alone in it, give it one last little moment there, chair pose, Inhale, sit a little deep. Last time, exhale, fold. Inhale, glance out, flat back. Exhale, vinyasa or not, you have a choice. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot outside, right hand. Inhale, left leg kicks through, right elbow in. Exhale, right hand down, left toes back. Inhale, three leg down dog. Exhale, right foot top of the mat. Crescent pose, inhale, rise. Exhale, left toes tap, right fist to hips. Inhale, step back. You could let it go out the mouth. Step it up, elbows in. Inhale, reach up. One more, exhale. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, hands down. Three leg down dog. Inhale, stack and open the hip. Flip it out if it's right. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, plant the hand down. Thigh to your chest, hug it in. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last time, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot outside, left hand. Kick the right foot through, hug the elbow in. Plant the left hand down and step the right toes back. Inhale, left leg to the ceiling. Exhale, left foot top of the mat. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, fist to hips, toes tap. Inhale, step it back. You could use the breath. Exhale, step up, let it rip. Inhale to crescent. Last time, let it go. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, hands down, left leg to the sky. Inhale, stack and open the hip. Exhale, drop the toes down. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, plant the hand down. Draw the thigh to the chest. Inhale to plank. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, downward facing. We have a little bit of sweat happening. So what does that mean, right? What does that mean? We have made the transition naturally through an inner effort, an inner dedication, and that physical embodiment of that first kosha, the anamaya kosha, that layer of the body, has taken us into that next element of water. And so a beautiful opportunity here to feel the sweat on the skin, and to notice that as hot as you are with that element of fire, that sweat is there to remind you, you know how to find cooling. You know how to find peace in the middle of chaos. You know how to be the center of the storm. So let's keep going. On an inhale, lift the right leg up and off the mat. Exhale, step the right foot through, lower the left knee down, this place you've been. Rise up, low lunge, inhale, lift the arms up. As you exhale, spread the arms and turn to the right, a wide arm twist. This might be a really sweet place to be. Or if it makes sense, on an inhale, start to reach your right arm back. Take your right hand maybe to your left ankle, your left arm to the sky, as if you were coming into a version of Ustrasana. Your hand might not touch your ankle, your hand can touch your calf. 
just finding a place for you that makes sense or even your right hand to your low back instead. Give it one last little moment there as you imagine the heart lifting. Take an inhale. Then let the exhale pull you back through that wide arm twist. Back to your low lunge. Inhale, circle the arms above. And as you exhale, lay your chest to your right thigh. Lift your back left knee up as you drive the left thigh from the earth. Rise up, crescent pose. Inhale. Open warrior two as you exhale. Our first time here. And before we get into that circular energy of water and of pranavayu, a moment to establish yourself, to feel the rhythm of breath, the presence of the fire, all of it there, supporting and serving this moment of deep equanimity here. On an inhale, straighten the front right leg, turn the right toes in and lift both arms up to the sky simultaneously. As you exhale, kick the heels in, turn the toes out and then wrap the right elbow underneath the left as you sit deep. Take an inhale, lift the elbows, lift the heart, keep the knees bent. And as you exhale, lay the chest to the right and through this out breath, circle forward over to the left and back up to the sky. On an inhale, straighten the legs, turn all 10 toes ahead and lift the arms up. Exhale back to warrior two, right toes forward, spread the arms out, gaze ahead. Reverse your warrior on an inhale, right arm up and overhead. Exhale, circle the hands down, step back to upper push up plank and maybe use your knees to lower down. Inhale, up dog or cobra, you flow. Exhale, press back down dog, left leg lifts, inhale. Left foot steps through as you exhale, drop the right knee to the mat and keep the back toes tucked. On an inhale, rise up to your low lunge. Exhale, turn to the left, right arm forward, left arm behind you, take a couple of breaths. Shoulders above the hips. Finding yourself there, stacked in the present moment as we just start to align things here. On an inhale, reach the left arm back, the right arm to the sky. Find a landing place for your hand. It could be your sacrum. It could be your calf or your ankle at the back of your mat. And you might notice that this side is incredibly different since you twist differently in this direction of the spine. Take one last inhale as if you found camel pose in the heart. Then exhale back through that wide arm twist. Inhale to your low lunge, reach the arms back up to the center. Then exhale chest to thigh, lift the back knee up and firm the thigh from the mat. Crescent pose, inhale, circle the arms, lift the heart, the chest. Exhale, open up into warrior two, left arm forward, right arm behind, palms facing the mat. Again, maybe it makes sense throughout the course of this practice to take the attention inside once you feel established physically in the body and the mind. On an inhale, straighten the left leg, turn the left toes ahead and lift both arms up. Then exhale, kick the heels in, hug the left elbow underneath the right, Garudasana with the arms. Take an inhale, lift the elbows up. Then exhale, lean over to the left, make a big circle through the center and let that carry you back up to the center. On an inhale, straighten the legs, turn the toes ahead and lift the arms back up. Exhale back to second warrior, left toes forward. Inhale, reverse it all the way up and back. Exhale, both hands down, step back up or push up and lower down to the mat. Inhale, cobra or up dog as your heart lifts. Exhale, down dog, and here's that water element, we flow it. Inhale, right leg up and off the mat. Exhale, right foot through, back left knee to the mat, toes tucked. Inhale, lift the arms, low lunge. Exhale, spread open to the right. Inhale, one arm back bend, left arm to the sky. Exhale, back through the wide arm twist. Inhale to the low lunge, back to center. Exhale, chest to thighs, back knee lifts, arms behind. Crescent pose, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Right leg straight, toes forward, arms lift, inhale. Exhale, heels in, toes out, bend the knees, elbows drop. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, circle over to the right. Inhale, straighten the legs, lift 
the arms and parallel the feet. Exhale back to second warrior. Inhale, right arm circles up and back. Exhale, both hands down, step back to plank, lower to the mat. Inhale as you ride the breath. Exhale, down dog, press your way back. Inhale, left leg floats up. Exhale, left foot steps through, back knee drops. Inhale, low lunge, rise. Exhale, spread arm twist to the left side. Inhale, left hand down and right arm overhead. Exhale, back through the spread. Inhale to the center, circle up. Exhale, chest down, back knee lifts. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, open up warrior two. Inhale, front leg straight, arms above. Exhale, heels in, left elbow under right. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, circle all the way through the left side. Rise to center, inhale, leg straight, arms above. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, left arm draws you up and back. Exhale, both hands down, step back to upper push-up and lower to the mat. Inhale as your shoulders roll low. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg floats up. Exhale, right foot steps through. Low lunge, inhale, sweep and lift. Exhale, turn toward the right. Inhale, left arm overhead pulls you back. Exhale, back to the center. Inhale, sweep up to the middle. Exhale, chest down, back knee lifts. Crescent pose, inhale, open up. Warrior two on the out breath. Inhale, front leg straight, arms above. Exhale, heels in as the elbows interlace. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, circle through the right. Inhale, back to center, leg straight, arms above. Exhale, warrior two, sit back down. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, both hands down, step back to plank, elbows hug your waist. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, down dog, left leg lifts, inhale. Left foot through, exhale, low lunge, inhale as you rise. Exhale, turn to the left. Inhale, right arm overhead. Exhale, back into the twist. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, chest down, arms behind. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, warrior two, open wide. Inhale, front leg straight, both arms above. Exhale, heels in as the elbows interlace. Inhale, heart up. Exhale, circle through the left. Inhale to the center, arms high, legs straight. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse it up and back. Exhale, both hands down, step back and lower to the mat. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog, one last round. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward, back knee drops. Inhale, you find that space. Exhale, open it to the right. Inhale, draw your heart high. Exhale, come back. Inhale, through the center. Exhale, arms behind, back knee lifts. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two, like you're moving through something thick. On an inhale, straighten the right leg, lift both arms up, turn the toes in. Exhale, heels in, right elbow under, left knees bend. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, circle to the right. Inhale, back to the center, arms up, legs straight. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse it up and back. Exhale, hands down, step back, lower slow or not. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog, last time. Inhale, left leg lifts up. Exhale, left foot through. Back knee down, inhale, you rise. Exhale, twist to the left side. Inhale, right arm up and overhead. Exhale, back through the middle. Inhale to your low lunge. Exhale, chest down, back knee lifts. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, front leg straight, arms up. Exhale, heels in, toes out, eagle arms. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, big circle to the left. Inhale to the sky, arms up, legs straight. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, the peaceful warrior. Exhale through the vinyasa. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths. And so you just moved around the center line of the body center of the body, the energetic center of the body associated with that element of water. 
Look back at your two feet. Walk your hands to the back of your mat. When you get back there, put a little bend into your knees, grasp opposite elbows, and a soft sway side to side. Drop your head and close your eyes. And after you've moved through that element of air, you've activated the heat in the body and tapped into the fire. You float and you know that you can cool yourself back down and we come into what is so important in this practice, which is the somatic experience of being grounded and steady, of being embodied. And nothing gives that to us more than this element of earth. And so you might just draw into your mind the way that we do in one of our guided meditations during this training, that image of a mountain. You just imagine that mountain through all the different changes, through the eras, the decades, the centuries, through all of the different seasons, the storms and the earthquakes, the fires and the rain, the wind and the water, the snow, the aliveness and the death, the mountain stays steady through it all. It's changed but not reduced by what it experiences, that important reminder from Maya Angelou. So imagine that as we make this transition into this last standing piece of practice, that you could be like that mountain through it all. Feel down into your feet. Take one last deep breath in. Exhale, release your arms down. Crawl your way back out to downward facing dog. Take your time, feel your thighs firming back, your heels reaching for the earth, just like the roots of a tree digging deep and down into the ground. You feel the solidity of this body. How often we are disembodied, how often we are stuck in the head. And so here's your opportunity, attention in the hands, attention in the legs, what's touching the mat? On an inhale, lift your right leg up and off the mat. As you exhale, step your right foot through between your hands and spin your back foot flat. Rise up, inhale, warrior one. Reach the arms above. First time we're here today. Stand into the blade of the back left foot. Firm the top of the left thigh back. Warrior one is different than crescent pose. It awakens us in a different way. We're more balanced, we're more steady. We have these two legs to stand into and we feel that rising flow of energy as the arms lift up and we grow from the ground all the way through the fingertips. Take an inhale, reach up. Open warrior two as you exhale. Heel toe, the front heel to intersect the back arch and you know this place so well. Take one last deep breath in, we're just passing through. Then exhale your right elbow to your right knee and your left arm straight up to the sky. And even if you like a deeper variation, stay here today. Right heel grounded down into the earth, right knee above the right heel, and you haven't lost the solidity of the back left leg firming. Take an inhale, open the left side of the chest, lean a little bit back and exhale the left arm up and over the crown of the head. And the left arm, just an extension of the back left leg. You check in with yourself and you just see, how am I feeling today? Do I feel solid? Do I feel steady? And if that's the case, you might go ahead and extend the right arm out there to mirror the left. And as you maybe reach the right arm out, both arms overhead, it's a choice that you make as the heart keeps spiraling open toward the ceiling. And if that feels like too much on the back, you could bring the hands to the heart instead and have a variation in prayer if that were best. Then see if you can keep what you have and just start to turn your gaze down to the floor because we're gonna challenge it a little bit. Start to shift your weight forward and rise up to Ardha Chandrasana half moon pose without using your hands. Maybe your arms are over your head. Maybe your hands come to your heart. Stack your left hip on top of your right, and we're gonna challenge that element of earth just a little bit. So through balance and imbalance, can you keep it? 
that it's not something that's determined by the outside physical manifestation, that the earth is actually a quality that exists within you. Drop your right hand down, lift your left arm up, take a second, find your version of full half moon pose as you take a breath. Then exhale, start to bend your right knee, float step back to warrior two, land. Take an inhale here, maybe sit a little bit deep. Then exhale, cartwheel the hands down onto the mat. Spin onto your back left toes. Step your left foot up about a third of the way. Seal the sole of the left foot flat. Turn your left toes ahead and straighten your right leg. Take an inhale, glance out halfway. And then exhale, fold into pyramid pose, Parsvottanasana. You could put blocks underneath the hands for support but by this point in time, you're probably quite warm. So you might just be able to melt yourself down and in. Let the head go. Feel the inner thighs hugging in, the right thigh drawing back, and the appreciation that you have for all that you've moved through already in this practice, the ups and the downs, the things that you liked, the things that surprised you, and even the things that you didn't like that inspired you to grow a little bit more, to listen a little bit more deeply. On an inhale, look out halfway. Start to bend your right knee. Start to shift your weight forward and float your left leg parallel to the mat. Fingertips underneath the shoulders, left hip rotating down. And on an inhale, float your hands to your heart for warrior three. So I know you've been working hard. We're just gonna pass through. On an inhale, rise all the way up, draw the left knee into the chest and pause there. Reach down with both hands and catch either side of your left foot with both hands. On an inhale, start to straighten your left leg. Start to reach your left leg forward. And as you exhale, flare the elbows and fold over your left thigh, hugging yourself down and in. And can you trust that element of earth, the groundedness of the right leg? It might even have a micro bend in it to help stabilize you today. On an inhale, lift your gaze, pause on the out breath, circle both arms to the sky, take an inhale, reach the left leg out. Exhale, float back through warrior three. Bring your arms by your sides. Again, we're just passing through, I promise. Lower both hands down onto the mat. Take an inhale, lift the left leg a little bit higher. Then as you exhale, start to bend the right knee. Bring the left knee outside of the right foot and sit all the way down onto the mat. You can always put a block underneath the sitting bones for support if that were best. Ground the right sitting bone all the way down onto the floor. Bring the right fingertips behind the sacrum, the low back. Inhale your left arm up to the sky and then exhale your left elbow outside of your right knee as you take a twist and close your eyes. Tension within. There's so much of life that is pulling our attention outside of us. And from the moment we're born, often our eyes are open and we're looking around and we live life through the eyes. We forget that we have all of these other sense doors. And so can you tap into all of your other senses, which are embodied experiences? You hear sounds coming and going the same way that that mountain experiences seasons coming and going. You have intuition. And here you are just sitting, experiencing all of it, not pushing anything away, not wishing that it were different. Right here is the moment for you to step into a cycle of creation, to wake up from those habits which aren't a problem, they're understandable, they develop over time, but we can mature, we can become adults, we can put our practice into action. Take one more deep breath in here as you maybe roll the right chest open. And as you exhale, just turn the gaze forward. 
Then release the left elbow, and as the torso turns forward, drop the right knee on top of the left. Bring the right foot outside of the left hip for Gomukhasana with the legs. If you need to lean forward and hug the inner thighs together, you can do that. If you need to sit up on a block for support, that's available. Bring both hands to your knees, clasp them over your knees, and for a moment, sit tall and take a stand for the present moment. might stay here. Listen to your body. Don't worry about what anybody else in this class is doing, what variation they take. Listen to yourself. And if it makes sense over time, maybe you start to walk the hands forward. Maybe you bow in. You find a place for you. You breathe into that possibility and you learn to stay. There was once a man who lost his wife. It was unexpected and sudden, and he was understandably devastated. And he went to go see an old, wise woman. He arrived at her home, and she invited him on a walk. And they began to walk along the river. She sat down on a rock near the water, and she picked up a stick, and she placed the stick into the water. And he listened to the sounds of the river flowing. The old woman handed him the stick. He extended the stick into the water and he was amazed at how despite his hand not touching the water, he could still feel the water flowing. He could still have the experience of water. And the wise woman said that experience is like your wife. She might not be here anymore, but you still know her love. You might not be able to touch her, but you can still sense her presence. And this is how meaning saves us. We don't know how to live or die, she said, but we know how to love and we know how to grieve. And this is the way that we collect branches of meaning throughout our life. And so each drop of sweat, each moment that you fall asleep and wake up again, each insight that you have, each rhythm that you go through, each cycle, each season, it might not be fair. A lot of times it isn't, but we can draw meaning from it. We can grow, we can learn, we can apply the lessons ultimately grow kinder because of it. And so you feel throughout this training, the challenges that you face, the breakdowns to breakthroughs have all grown your cup and your capacity for not just patience, but for compassion. On an inhale, start to walk the hands back in, lift the heart, lift the chest, pause there. And as you exhale, lean the fingertips back behind you, lean slightly back, and then slip into double seated pigeon, stacking the right shin on top of the left. And if that's not available today, then just cross the right shin in front of the left. Inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold if it's right, or stay upright, knowing that you can rest with the hands at the heart. Close the eyes and breathe. down close to the earth, your sitting bones rooted, your thighs descending, maybe your head resting on the block or on the floor. You literally can breathe into you those experiences of being grounded and steady. These are practices for grounding. We need them in those moments of life's inevitable intensities. received a message once from a brand new mother and she said how do you keep it all together in that moment when the baby is crying and you are so exhausted and there are so many things to do and dishes to wash and work to get to how do you not lose it 
like this. You feel the feet on the earth. You feel the parts of your body that are connected to the chair. You come back into your body. Don't leave it. It's intense. But right here is the healing. Right here is the answer. And then you take a breath. If we get stuck in the head, we start going into the future, we start anticipating, creating tension and stress, that's when we fall into anxiety. That's when we lose our center. That's when we say something that we can't ever take back. You practice it now, hands on the earth, forehead resting, sitting bones grounded so that when you need to access this element, you know how to do it. On an inhale, roll all the way up. As you exhale, place your hands behind you, release the soles of the feet toward the floor, the toes pointing ahead, the knees to the ceiling. And on an inhale, press to upward facing tabletop pose for a moment, open the front body, the shoulders, the tops of the thighs, take a breath. Exhale, lower the sitting bones down, cross the right ankle in front of the left, roll over the knees, step back to upper push-up plank, take an in-breath. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows hug in. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Down dog as you exhale, press back. And on an inhale, float to plank. Pause in the top of upper push-up plank challenge you a little bit. Can you stay connected to that element of earth as we bring some other elements back in? Take an inhale here. Exhale, tap both knees to the mat and then press back to plank. Tap both knees to the mat and press back to plank. Keep going like this. So what's going to help you remain connected? My guess is that it's going slow and steady. That oftentimes we speed things up as an act of avoidance. So don't avoid. Last time here, hold plank, take an inhale, and then keeping the shoulders over the wrists, as you exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Right knee to your nose. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale, draw your left knee to your nose. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale, right knee to your nose. Inhale, step to plank. Exhale, left knee to your nose. Inhale, back to plank and keep going. Slow, grounded mountain climbers. Are you still the mountain? Are you watching the seasons come and go? Are you watching the weather inside of you shift and change? Did you get caught in a story? When you get back to plank, take a goodbye inhale there, and then lower your knees behind your hips, modified upper push-up. Take a breath here. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, re-straighten the arms. Two more like that. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale, straighten the arms. Last time, exhale, elbows in. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, press back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, open the mouth, exhale. Inhale, lift your left leg up and off the mat. Exhale, step your left foot forward, seal your back foot flat. Rise up, inhale, warrior one, stand again to the blade of the back right foot. Use the strength of the back leg to wrap the right hip forward, to wrap the right waist ahead. Facing forward into the present moment, not leaning into the future, right here as you take a breath. Inhale. Open up, warrior two, as you exhale. You've been here so many times already through the course of this training in this class, so just take one breath in. Exhale, left elbow, left knee, right arm to the sky. Press out of the left shoulder. We want the space through the left waist so that the left lung lifts. Lean the chest open. Inhale as if to reach the right arm back.
exhale your right arm up and over the crown of your head. Be there for a moment. And as you stay strong in your legs and steady in your breath, watch the body shaking and trembling, sweating. You could stay here or reach the left arm forward to mirror the right. Maybe instead the hands come to the heart. Maybe you say, I'm not doing that today, Lauren, because it would take me out of the element of earth. I would no longer feel steady. That's a choice that you can make. Big inhale here. Turn your gaze down as you exhale. Shift your weight forward. Ardha Chandrasana without your hands. Right arm maybe up and over the head. Maybe both arms extend. Maybe hands come to the heart space instead. Stacking the right hip on top of the left to the extent that you can as you turn the heart toward the right. Take one last inhale here. It takes everything. Then exhale, left hand down, right arm to the sky. A moment in full half moon. Inhale. As you exhale, rebend your left knee. Float step back to warrior two. One breath. Maybe you sit a little deep. The shoulders descend. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the mat, spin to your back right toes. Step your right foot up a third of the way. Straighten your front left leg. Hips in neutral rotation, so the right hip pivots down. The left thigh draws back. The sacrum square to the ceiling. Glance out, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold and soften. Bow and drop the head. Maybe nod the head a little, yes. We nod the head a little no. And check in. There's still a sound of wujai moving through the back of the throat. You're breathing. On an inhale, lift the heart. As you exhale, start to bend the left knee, shift the weight forward, and lift your right leg parallel to the mat. Fingertips under shoulders or hands on blocks. There's a place for you there if it were best. And with your hips still neutrally rotated, inhale, float your hands to your heart for full Virabhadrasana three, torso parallel to the mat. Float and rise all the way up to stand, right knee to the chest, hands stay at the heart, take a breath. Reach your hands down, catch a hold of your right foot with both of your hands. Then inhale, straighten your right leg forward and exhale, flare your elbows and fold over your lifted right leg. Remembering that your right leg never needs to get straight, not in this practice, not in this training, not in this lifetime. Inhale, lift the heart up, pause on the out breath. Both arms to the sky, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, float back through warrior three, arms by the sides, you're just passing through, take one breath. Hands down as you exhale, Lift the right leg a little bit higher, then start to bend the left knee, slip the right knee outside of the left foot and sit all the way down into Ardha Matsyandrasana. Place the left fingertips behind you for support. Lift the right arm up, deep breath in. Exhale, right elbow outside of the left knee as you turn the heart to the left. Allow the shoulders to drop. Allow the jaw to soften. And as you continue to turn the attention inside, what are those branches of meaning that you've collected throughout your own life? That I would venture to guess you made it onto a mat and you made it into this training because you faced some hardship. Most of us don't get brought to practice because everything is going great in our lives. But you've taken those hardships and you've turned them into lessons and opportunities, to sensitivities and deep listening. You've turned them into something valuable and it served you and your practice and now you're ready to serve the world. It's no small feat to step into the seat of the teacher. It's almost like you're becoming your own Hanuman. Take one last inhale here. Turn the gaze forward as you exhale, release the right elbow, torso ahead, and then collapse the left knee on top of the right, moving the left foot outside of the right hip. 
You might lean forward, hug the inner thighs, or sit up on a block, and then interlace the hands on the knees. Sit up tall, close the eyes. Inside of yourself, sitting bones down, crown of the head lifted, take a breath. And then you decide, do you fold or not? something not because you think you should but because you are actually listening we're not asking you to take photographs of your practice during this training because we know at the end of the day that actually has so little to do with what we hope you're taking away what you're getting come into union, you come into that place inside of yourself, beyond that mentality of separation, and back into that connection of we consciousness. inhale roll all the way up place the fingertips behind you lean back coming into double seated pigeon stacking the left foot on top of the right knee the right foot under the left or cross the legs inhale lift the arms up grow tall exhale fold down maybe placing a block under the head or resting the forehead on stacked hands Place your hands behind you, release the feet flat to the floor. One more time, upward facing tabletop pose, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower the sitting bones down to the mat, scoot your sitting bones forward toward the top of the mat. Reach your arms forward, close your eyes, trust that there is mat space behind you, take a breath in. And exhale, slowly lower down for five. Four, three, two, one. Lay the body to the mat, arms down by the sides, extend the legs ahead. Separate the feet, let the feet fall away from each other or modify if it's best. Close the eyes. Together, take a deep breath in through the nose. And open the mouth, exhale as you let it go.
keeping the eyes closed, float one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly, resting the hands on the body. Being in sync with nature, being connected to the elements is ultimately being in a state of flow. And it doesn't mean that we're in a state of bliss all of the time, but we are surrendering ourselves to the outcome. A willingness to live a life that says, I don't know. And from that place of accepting uncertainty is an openness and a liberation. So the next time you falter, the next time you fall asleep, remember this moment. Remember that you are inherently connected, that the state of yoga isn't something that you have to search for. It is something that is alive inside of you now and in any moment. Thank you so much for your practice today. Take time, maybe continue to rest. Namaste.